So as many of you know, the cryptocurrency space is just plumb full of scams. You don't get something for nothing. You don't get something for nothing. You don't get something for nothing. It's always a scam. It's always a scam. So I'm sitting here knowing that my likeness is going to be used by people I've never met who steal millions of dollars from people and there's nothing I can do. So as many of you know, the cryptocurrency space is just plumb full of scams. People wake up every single day um, and try to find ways to convince you that they're me or Vitalik or Elon Musk or uh, you know, pick your favorite celebrity or Bill Gates. And all you have to do is just give them some of your hard earned crypto uh, and they will give you something back in value. Maybe it's a giveaway scam and you'll double your money uh, or maybe there's a new coin being launched and you'll reserve your place in line or there's some bull hooey. I received an email tonight from somebody uh, who was emailed by a person impersonating me. It was a well-written email uh, and the person was attempting to offer uh, basically a placement in a new medical chain, which of course I'm not building, but apparently I am. And only if you fork over some hard-earned ADA uh, can you get access to that. It's always a scam. It's always been a scam. It always will be a scam. Nothing new there. Unfortunately, there is something on the horizon which is going to create substantial problems for many, many, many people. Uh, it's a supercut of a keynote uh, in Taiwan uh, that uh, the CEO of NVIDIA did talking about all the cool interesting things that nvidia is working on so for example they're doing some cool stuff with real-time ray tracing and then he says hey look i can just use some text and i can generate basically a photorealistic video game and actually have jen's voice and oh now we're going to talk about like generating this woman right here she's completely fake but we can actually make it seem like she's alive and well and oh look we can do 3d video of a person Wow, isn't the future great? Well, the problem is that this technology is growing exponentially. But this technology is growing exponentially. And as a result of it growing exponentially, what will occur within a 12-month to 24-month horizon, so likely next year, will be that videos of me can be manufactured using generative AI. Audio of me can be manufactured using generative AI to make it appear that I'm calling you, talking to you, or soliciting your money. So the problem is that thousands of people are going to fall for that. No matter how many of these videos I make and warn you about it, no matter how many times I say it's a scam, it always will be a scam, you don't get something for nothing, you don't get something for nothing, people are going to fall for it. It's called confidence scam. And as a result, millions of dollars worth of ADA and other cryptocurrencies will be stolen. This is the world we're heading towards because of generative AI. It's one of the dark sides and unintended consequences, but scammers are already doing this. The email that I saw looks like it was written by ChatGPT based upon a sample. And it cost them nothing to send out millions of these things to targets. If you think you're talking to me, then all you have to ask is, well, Charles, it's a, that's a great thing. Please sign a PGP message with your charles.hoskinson at gmail.com. And they won't be able to do it because no matter how advanced AI gets, AI is not capable of cracking a PGP signature, at least not yet, and probably not on a horizon. So if you think you're talking to me, I will never get offended. I will never try to lie to you and say, oh, no, I'm sorry, I just don't have my keys. Uh, I will sign a message to authenticate. First off, I'm not going to contact you unless I know you and you know me. Uh, or there's something you're doing that I'm very interested in, like you're building a wallet or you're working on some paper or some technology. And even then, I'm more than willing at any time to sign a PGP message, uh, any message you want. You can send me a block of text and say, sign this with your key. And I'll sign it, okay? Because it's easy for me to do that. And I'll, I'll make a video for you guys uh, to show how to do that and how to verify a key. 
Uh, so that's fair game. Now, even though I tell you that, some of you will do it. The vast majority will not see this video, will not listen. And, and this time next year, because of generative AI, millions of dollars worth of ADA is going to be stolen. You don't get something for nothing. You don't get something for nothing. You don't get something for nothing. It's always a scam. It's always a scam. I will not ask you for ADA. I will not ask you for your private keys. I will not ask you to invest in some chain. It's not going to happen. People will fall for it. Unfortunately, there's now going to be video to try to convince you, audio to try to convince you because of generative AI. It's pretty messed up, but that's the future that we live in. And that's where we're at. Um, and I don't know how to stop it. I really don't. Um, I could tell you that the only surefire way of verifying identity now is with a PGP key because you can't trust what you see and you can't trust what you hear. And scammers, they're evil people. They have no soul. They don't care about you. Uh, they just want to steal your money so that they can go and buy shit for themselves. They're criminals. Nothing will protect you against them outside of your own common sense. You don't get something for nothing. You don't get something for nothing. Magically, you're the luckiest son of a bitch in the world that uh, that 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 prince is going to double your money. You just have to pay the that cashier's check fee. You will be scammed. You will lose your money and it never will come back. Then here's what's going to happen. The millions of dollars that are lost, those people will reach out to me claiming I scam them. Like the last seven years, they're going to send me death threats. They're going to threaten to sue me. Uh, they're going to say horrible things. Then they're going to go and write the regulators and say, you must protect us because I fucked up from these evil crypto people, lost all my money from these evil crypto people. It's greed and stupidity that's compelling you to believe things that you know deep down inside are not true. Just, it's madness. That's what people are going to do. And the sophistication will continue to grow. I don't have an Instagram page. Currently, there are more than a dozen Instagram pages impersonating me. I don't have a LinkedIn page. There's more than 20, we found, LinkedIn pages impersonating me, pretending to be me, contacting people over private messages, attempting every single day to steal their money. There's well more than 100 Facebook pages right now of fake Charles Hoskinson. Can't take them down, or when we do, 10 more pop up the minute that they've been taken down. Is what it is. That's the world we live in. So this is a PSA that I'm making to all of you. Generative AI is coming. Don't trust what you see. Don't trust what you hear. Always authenticate the person before you believe them. Moving forward, you should always believe the content is unauthenticated until it's authenticated because of the world of generative AI. This is one of the reasons why we created Atala Prism. Well, it's one of the reasons we push for DIDs. It's one of the reasons we push for authenticated channels. As Prism evolves as a product, my hope is to pull it into everything including communications. A scammer can't do that. Generative AI can't do that. That's the future we live in now. Assume everything is false until proven otherwise uh, and know how to use the tools. We'll try to make them easier throughout the coming years, but it's going to be rocky and it's going to be rough. Uh, and it makes me really sad to say this because at the end, end of the day, the most vulnerable people are the ones who are going to be scammed. You know, I remember years ago, my grandfather got scammed. He's older, he's in his 90s now, and some people called him, sold him gold coins that were worthless, and it took a very long time to get the money back. You know, and they specialized in preying upon the elderly and the vulnerable, and that's where we're at. So I'm sitting here knowing that my likeness is going to be used by people I've never met who steal millions of dollars from people, and there's nothing I can do. And there's nothing law enforcement can do and there's nothing technology can do that's the world we live in and the consequence of where things are going and people's greed and stupidity it's pretty sad